Hi and welcome to our channel, my name is Julia and this is Mitri. Hello everyone. We're discussing fragrances here and if you enjoy this topic make sure to subscribe to our channel. Today uh, we'll unbox and uh, share our uh, early impressions on uh, fragrance uh, X uh, Idola 33. Uh, you can see the bottle on, on the screen and it has a beautiful bottle and uh, actually the color of the juice is very beautiful. Uh, Julia have, uh, has never tried this fragrance before, so we'll unbox it and uh, discuss it uh, with you. So, uh, this is uh, a fragrance brand from uh, Great Britain, I believe from England. Uh, it's written here, made in England. Oh yeah, it's all, it already smells. Actually from here it uh, reminds me a little bit of one fragrance that I have. Please spray it. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, it will be Julia's uh, first impressions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very beautiful uh, fragrance Ooh. color. I have here a 50 ml bottle. I have uh, uh, smelled it uh, two times before. Uh, the first time was uh, in uh, the beginning of uh, 2020 and the second one was uh, about a month ago. I sprayed it once on uh, myself. I was a subscriber, Pavel gave me uh, a, a sample and to spray it. And we both decided to buy this fragrance, uh, me and him also. Well, it's a uh, rose wood, yeah? It's a proper rose wood, and uh, to me it's uh, one of the most uh, beautiful ones, especially at uh, this price point, I would say. From the... When I'm smelling it here, from the bottle, from the sprayer, I'm getting this um, freshly um, fresh uh, magazine accord. Yeah, interesting. And you like it? It's, it's yeah. one of my favorite notes ever. Like this shiny paper. I, I just love the smell of it. On the skin, uh, it's present, but not as much as uh, 
from the sprayer? Uh, when I first first sprayed, uh, smelled it uh, from the bottle, uh, it gave me some vibe from uh, Lemat from Minti this uh, beautiful uh, spicy rose. Really? Yeah. But uh, here from the skin it doesn't smell like Limat. No. But it has uh, a lot of beautiful rose, also like Limat has, and it, ha it also has uh, spiciness and this uh, balsamic nuances. But Limat doesn't have any wood. But here I can, uh, I can feel the wood. Also, I would say, yeah? Yeah. It, sm it smells like it has wood. And actually, the, the brand says that uh, they have here uh, 33 years old, aged, uh, uh, natural, wild Chinese wood oil. <laughs> uh, and also uh, natural Chinese uh, rose oils, yeah? So I would say this uh, has amazing roses here. Very beautiful. Uh, smells very natural to my nose. It, it has some green elements uh, like uh, geranium may give you, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, green. And, and and I love it here. I love roses when it's when when they smell green with the geranium smell. Oh, I think it's uh, fantastic. Yes, this is a really potent fragrance. And it's say. it's strong and it lasts a very long time. It lasted on my skin more than uh, 15 hours. Wow. Uh, from the I, from the small uh, uh, sample. I don't know if you can see, yeah, but it's, it's very it's, oily. Very oily, yeah. Very, very oily. And it's here... What well, the concentration is? Eau de Parfum. Wow. Can you imagine? I mean, some it's, straights are not... <laughs> it's concentrated. It, it, it feels uh, a lot more deep and uh, dense than uh, many extraits. Yeah? Yep. For example, we've sprayed here Cartoot by Thamin and it's uh, not so oily, uh, but uh, Cartoot is it's extrait, the perfume. Wow, well, this is a very nice rose fragrance. And I you know, although we're getting uh, wood here, it's not skanky, it's very wearable. I love this rose as well, and uh, this uh, green aspects are very nice. It's not a sweet fragrance, I'm not getting sweetness here. Maybe just a tiny, teeny little bit, but if you're not a fan of sweet fragrances, definitely you can try this one. It's yeah. like... Uh, I would say it's totally unisex, but I think uh, maybe men would lean more towards this fragrance. Oh, it smells gorgeous. Uh, I also get uh, here a little bit of uh, sweetness and I guess here uh, I can feel the patchouli also. Mm -hmm. It's not barnyardy or uh, uh, fermented. But somehow it uh, feels like it has a wood, you know, yeah. this uh, dark woodiness. Are there any fruity notes in here? I'm getting some, some fruitiness. Or maybe it's the rose playing like that with the, uh, the green notes. I don't think it has some fruity fruit. The nose. Mm. It has a lot of rose, a lot of woodiness, uh, spiciness, patchouli, it's just some ambery balsamicness. Yeah. And it, it has some uh, metallic touch also from this mm. fragrance. Very nice. Beautiful fragrance. For a night out, I would say, for the evenings, for special occasions, 
not an everyday scent. I think uh, you would get tired of it uh, because it's very dense, it's projecting well, and it's very dark as well. I think it would work uh, very good all year round, I would say. But uh, for many people, uh, probably this would be better in uh, fall and winter, mm -hmm. I would say, yeah? Actually, on my skin it's getting kind of uh, a little more positive than it was uh, on the first spray. I'm ge my rose is getting sweeter. It's uh, in, the beginning, I, in the beginning I did not get any sweetness at all, and now it's getting sweeter actually. Maybe uh, as it's my first try, maybe it's not as dark uh, as I'm thinking right now. So. Uh, it might be a daytime fragrance as well. It, I have to give it more words. It has some sort of uh, this uh, green uh, geranium rose smell like in Wood Maximus by Bortnikov, I would say. And uh, I also have uh, Maskut by Kilian. Mm -hmm. It also has this uh, beautiful green uh, rose aspect. But this is more wearable for me even than Kilian, I guess. No, Kilian is very wearable, sorry. Kilian is wearable. It, it, ha mean, it has a very fresh, a lot of fresh lemon and uh, a lot of muskiness. Yes, uh, sometimes for me a mirror is a little overpowering. A mirror, probably, but a mirror has a lot of ylang, -ylang. It's It's a little bit more sweet and uh, more floral uh, on, the, on the different florals. But it's uh, very floral uh, about rose here. Yeah. yeah? So I'd like to take my words back about uh, wearing it only uh, at nights and special occasions. Right now I'm starting to think that uh, it could be worn daily as well. Uh, when I wore it only once, I really loved it. Uh, and I thought that I, I need a bottle, you know? Mm -hmm. It's nice. It's, uh, it's um, the direction that you really love. Yeah. You already have a lot of similar fragrances. Right now we've uh, just named three uh, fragrances that are already similar to this one. So you love this direction. Uh, I bought it for 110 euros uh, with a, a little discount. So I thought it's uh, a great deal and uh, I really love the smell. Oh, the overall performance, what uh, this uh, fragrance gave me, what emotions, yeah. I love rose wood, uh, as, you, as you may know. I think it's great uh, for uh, value for money. Definitely. It's getting much more positive than in the beginning. Uh, but uh, if I compare it with Wood Maximus uh, by Bornikov, uh, Wood Maximus has, to my nose, a lot more wood in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Okay, very good fragrance. I am enjoying it a lot. It's my first try, and it's a very good wood um, rose uh, fragrance or rosewood fragrance because I think rose is even a little more prominent. Uh, so yeah, let's let's see the nose, please. Sure. Yeah, and and I really enjoy the presentation. It's uh, very lovely. It is nice. Delicious. Uh, well, the notes are soft uh, black pepper, candied mandarin, and the caoutchouc uh, at the top. Um, candied mandarin. I was looking forward actually. Where is my candied mandarin? I don't I don't get here any citruses or mandarins. But it has some sweetness. Alright now yes. In at the very beginning it was not sweet at all and now I'm getting a lot of sweetness. And so, very so sweet. soft black pepper it, it has it, it definitely has some spiciness in it. Okay. So hard notes are Chinese white tea, Chinese rose, taif rose. Oris and Damascus steel. Well, it, uh, whatever it smells like. It, it has some metallicness to it. All right, so Chinese white tea. Mm. So Chinese rose and uh, Taif rose, uh, two, two types of roses, and uh, they are beautiful here. 
Yeah. Actually, really amazing roses. Very high quality. Yeah, some powderness is there as well from Morris. Okay. Base uh, notes are rare, natural vintage woods, aged patchouli and heliotropin. Definitely has patchouli. So yeah, it says here that um, the soul of the fragrance is built around a vintage wood distilled in 1980 and aged, aged uh, 33 years until its release in 2013. It gives the perfume its name, 33. Uh, it is also the only modern perfume to use a significant amount of wild harvested Chinese wood oil and natural Chinese rose oil to build the scent profile. Uh, it, it was uh, released 10 years ago. Ah, okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. So uh, now, nowadays, after 10 years this was released, it's, we have a lot of uh, natural uh, Chinese agar wood uh, fragrances. Yep. I have uh, actually one uh, fragrance from Original Dure, it's uh, uh, Chinese wood, uh, part 2. It has uh, wild uh, also ch Chinese wood and uh, a lot of uh, uh, Chinese natural ingredients like roses and so on, uh, like they mentioned here. Uh, but uh, Chinese wood from Manichi Dure is more funky, more skanky in the opening, yeah, because the wood there is a little bit challenging. And I also have uh, Arichi Dure, the history of Chinese wood. It's like a, uh, only wood oil with uh, perfume alcohol. And that one is very challenging for my nose. It's uh, cheesy, kind of barnyardy a little bit, and uh, very animalic. Uh, here I don't get any anim animaliness. Yeah, uh, for me it's very wearable. Yeah, uh, I would wear it uh, all year round, as I as I said. And it's very pleasant to my nose. Very well blended, and the ingredients are great. Yeah, approve. So I think it's a great fragrance, uh -huh. great performance, great smell, great blending, uh, very smooth. If you love a rose wood, you, I highly recommend you to try it. Yeah, check uh, this one out. Is this one better than uh, something like uh, Triad by Bortnikov? I think no, Triad is, is better, but this one is very, very close. Yeah. So, uh, on one of the websites that we found, European website, it says that it costs uh, 175 euros per 50 ml of this fragrance, and in 30 ml it costs uh, 138 euros. Not the cheapest one, but not that bad either. And uh, we're watching, there is a, a little bit uh, different presentation now. It has a little bit different cap, you know? Yeah, yeah, this is the one we have. This, this is, is from the, the, the official Sh website. Show please this one. This is the newest, I guess. Well, actually, I believe I have a little bit older bottle. <sighs> and then I'm lucky, yeah? Yes, so. But on the official website they have this uh, old one. Or maybe this website is dealing a fake fragrance. No, I don't no, know. no, 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 no. Uh, I've heard that they changed it to their uh, presentation a little bit. Okay. So I have older presentation. Yeah. So no, this is a very nice fragrance. I'm enjoying it. Very wearable, and I'm actually very happy that um, sweetness came out. And uh, when I said that men would lean more towards this fragrance, I'm taking these words uh, back as well because it's a totally unisex fragrance. Everyone can pull it off. There is enough uh, sweetness for someone who enjoys it. Uh, not too much for those who are not a fan. So, yeah. For me, as a rosewood lover, I think it's fantastic. Yeah, it's beautiful. And uh, you don't pay here uh, three or four hundred dollars for, for a bottle. So I think uh, the price quality is uh, very great, good here. Yeah. yeah. 
All right then, I think that's everything that we wanted to share with you in today's video. Thank you so much for watching us till the end. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Also, uh, in the comments down below, please let us know if you have tried this fragrance before. Uh, what do you think of it? Do you have it in your collection? And also, we would like to know your favorite uh, rose wood fragrance. All right then, we wish you an amazing day and bye-bye. Thank you, bye.